All right, so you have your view chat avatar that's like super like high poly, like uh, in this particular case, this avatar is 444k uh, tries, which is like uh, in view chat term is still like 400k polygons or whatever. But let's just say you have this kind of avatar, right? So what do you want to do is you need to separate the face and hands particularly you can do like elbows and joints if you want to keep those like quote unquote nice bends or whatever um, and this method usually just avoids some um, shape keys but I'll show you what you can do to avoid um, the shape key loss and whatnot or at least try to mitigate it as much as possible so what you can do now is um, Go to your body texture or whatever your torso is and make sure you're in edit mode. Press Z to go to wireframe. I'm just going to be pressing 5 and then 1 so she's facing me forward. I'm going to use the box select tool which is B and get her hands on both sides. And uh, these are not going to be like you know, it's a super perfect uh, symmetrical hands, but they're pretty symmetrical, I would say. And make that solid so she looks a bit better. Press P to separate. Go to object mode. Take the meshes we just separated, put it in head. Uh, label a, the mesh if you have multiple meshes so you don't get confused. And here we are at the part where we get to decimate this avatar. So what you can do is um, you go click on the whitelist mesh and our head. What this will do, it will avoid our hands and face. It will not touch my hands or face to start decimating. And I'm also going to start adding, uh, let's just say, my body, since I do want to keep that mostly intact because it does have shape keys if I check. Yeah, it does have um, some shape keys or whatever. So I do want to keep that. So I'll keep our shape keys on that. Um, we can keep the swim to shore. Uh, actually, before we click on that, uh, I believe we've got the body for us uh, separate by materials. We're going to have the chain and then the hair. And then this body will just be labeled as body add that to there we can add our swimsuit so it's going to take our clothes which has the most highest tries of 300k and our tail and our hair so three things it will try to just remove as much as stuff as it can and I'm not going to put any shape keys but you know and it will um we just combine these materials so try to remember or try to not have too many meshes and I'm just going to be generous and just give it 200k tries and you can just be generous like that but I'm going to be a bit harsher on it about 150k tries about 150k tries I'll make it try to reduce as much as possible and you can play around with this number okay all right as you can see it did damage the hair quite you know quite a bit I would say maybe in our belts area as well Maybe our tails will suffer once it's in like unity. It might look a bit weird, but I think it'll be fine.
and I'm just gonna separate these again and that's pretty much uh, and you can just reorganize this back to you know face with blush all that jazz you know do that keep the hair as is uh, I'm not gonna really touch it and I don't see like super big changes that were I will see a problem with it and it should also keep you know our um, our shape keys for the most part uh, where is our body yeah it kept our shape key so we can use that however we we want and we can go inside of here and see that a, our loads is now 50k and you know generally it's pretty okay just pretty okay or you can do you know the whole thing which and up to you we can try that as well with this particular model and do it that way another way we can also do if there's no dynamic bone is with uh, this modifiers as well with this decimate tool or there's something called planar because from here to here and I tried to make planes and we can you know we can try to reduce it as much as we want to And it might affect our uh, like if we do something extreme, like say 16. Yep, around 16 is when it starts breaking. And there are like settings like UVs, sharp, and we can try that out and see if there's like a huge difference. And you can just use sculpt tool and push those out if needed. And there's also something called kill lips as well, another feature. And just slowly reduce it like that. I'm going to give it about 0.5, so uh, maybe 0 0.6, 0 0.8. Yeah, let's say about 0 0.6, give or take. And you can just scope that out if needed. And I don't know if I already did this or not, but we can also do mesh, clean up, merge by distance. And that heavily does it, so we'll just do a little bit of that. And this after is 
pretty decimated. Um, we could go even further if we really wanted to, but you know, I'm just gonna stop it here. It's around 123k tries. It still has most of the details, and the most important thing is that it has its shape keys, which is like the big thing. Um, this particular avatar it still keeps the shape keys, so you can definitely go a lot further down. Um, I will say this is not the most optimal way of doing it. I'm pretty sure there are better ways, but yeah. This should round it out pretty much using the difference of the modifiers and then the cat splinter tool.